Hey everyone. This past Sunday in church, I talked about how pride has the potential to kill many things in our life. And I made the statement that we need to kill pride because pride kills. And there are a lot of things in our life that pride has the potential to kill. And we, and we know that pride can kill relationships and pride can kill organizations and pride can ultimately kill societies themselves. And so this week, I just want to talk to you about some things that pride has the potential to kill in my life, in your life, if left unchecked. And today I want to talk to you about the potential that pride has to kill God's blessings in our life. I just want you to think for a second about all the wonderful things that God, your Heavenly Father, your loving Heavenly Father, wants to give to you. But how oftentimes we miss those things that he wants to give to us because we are too busy working or striving or seeking or longing for more materialistic things in our life. Those things that help to feed and fuel our pride. In Psalm chapter 10 verse 4, the psalmist wrote these words. In his pride, the wicked does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. What the psalmist writes to us there is that when we are filled with pride, that there's no room for God, that we don't look for the things of God, we don't experience the things of God, that we don't even anticipate the things of God because we're too consumed and focused on ourselves. And we have a choice. Either we can follow our path, the path that we want to take in order to satisfy our pride, or we can take the path that God has asked us to take and maybe sacrifice our pride in order to experience the great blessings of God. I remember when I was in college, I had the opportunity to travel to Israel, and we saw all the sites in Israel. One of the things that we did was we traveled down to the Mount Sinai range. And it's in Mount Sinai that where, where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. And so we stood at the base of this mountain and we were going to climb to the top of the mountain. There was a path that, that we could follow. And me and a buddy that was with me, we decided that we were going to be the first to get to the top of the mountain. We wanted to be the first there. We, want, we were going to just, just go as hard as we could until we got to the top. And we ran some, we walked fast, and, and sure enough, we were the first ones to the top. But after our classmates and others got to the top of the mountain, they began talking about all the things that they saw and all the things that they experienced on their travel up the mountain. And we looked at each other, my brother and I, we looked at each other and we had missed all of those things because we wanted to be first to the top. And the same is true in our lives spiritually, that sometimes we get so focused on being first or being number one or, be, or having the things that just satisfy our pride that we miss out on all the things that God has asked for us. Listen, God has never asked you and I to be successful. He has asked us to be faithful, that we are to do the best that we can in whatever God has asked us to do, be faithful in that, and allow God to do what only He can do. I'm always reminded of the quote from Tony Horton, who does P90X, and Tony Horton always says, do your best, forget the rest. And you see, that's so applicable to us today as we seek to kill our pride because pride will kill the blessings of God in our life and we will miss out on those things. And so kill pride. Just simply be faithful. Do your best and forget the rest. And I guarantee that you will not miss out on the good things that God has for you.